Hello and happy Monday. I'm Rochelle with ConfidentDreaming.com, your energy alchemist and Disney life coach here today with your Magical Monday message. And we are in week two of Ted Lasso's lessons. Ted Lasso is a newer uh, program on Apple Plus. It's two seasons, 23 episodes total, all about an hour. A little bit of language, a little bit of bedroom stuff, but it is the most amazing thing ever. Uh, it's like having a coach in your back pocket. I still want a little bit of Ted Lasso to in my day just because he's so um, positive. Though we do see in season two, not to spoil too much, how sometimes that positivity can be a little toxic and mask what's really hiding underneath as he goes through some personal issues. Um, it won, I believe, let me double check my notes, seven Emmys in its first season, which I think might have been the most ever for a freshman comedy, and it continues to win awards today. It is very well written, very heartfelt, and there are so many lessons because Ted's a coach, sports coach, but he's still a coach, and he is more focused on bettering his people as people, his players as people versus players, uh, which we get into a little more next week. This week, we're talking about Believe. Uh, in the first episode, I believe, he puts up a sign and it says, Believe. It's above the coach's door, it's in the locker room, and it's to remind the players to believe. Believe in themselves, believe in their possibility, believe in the opportunity at hand. Um, it's hung crooked, and then they go to fix it, and it's hung even more crooked. It's there to show you that belief doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to believe. Believe in yourself, believe in others, believe in your team, and believe in ideals and goals. What do you believe in yourself? I find so many people don't even believe in themselves. So many people have doubts and uh, insecurities and ah, believe in the power that you have. Believe in, in, in what you can do and what you can bring. If there's something in your heart that you want to do, give it a try. You could find a thousand ways to fail. But one of the times, you'll, it'll work. You just have to believe. I was just watching um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season four, and I don't really want to spoil it, but it came down to it in the end. What do you believe? What do you want? And do you really believe it can happen to you? And take the chances. Fail and get up and try again and fail and get up and try again. So you really figure out exactly what you want. Believe. Um, Ted goes, I believe in hope. I believe and believe. At the end of Shawshank Redemption, he says, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. Because he hopes his friend will join him. Hope is what keeps us alive. Hope is what keeps us moving forward. If we lose hope, we've lost everything. If you want more joy and more love and more laughter and more fun in your life, you have to hope that it's going to come. You have to believe it's going to come. I believe and believe. I believe in magic. I believe in happiness. I believe it's possible for any of us to have it. We have to reach out and grab it. It doesn't just come along. It does float along, but we have to reach out and grab it, right? We have to believe we are worthy of having it. He says, I have a real tricky time hearing folks that don't believe in themselves. And it happens a lot. I believe in you. If you've been part of the program I'm or the project I'm launching this month, it was the project of change. It was 30 conversations in the month of April to 30 people who are looking for change in their life. And they have to believe that change is possible. They have to believe that it'll be lasting. And they have to believe they are worthy of creating a life they love, which will come at the expense of change. Again, belief doesn't have to be perfect, like that crooked sign hanging in the office. It just has to be there. He gets his players to believe in themselves and believe that anything is possible, even when they're losing and it's so heartbreaking. It may be a fictional show, but you get, you get connected really well with the characters and you just you need to believe. So what do you believe in? It doesn't have to be religious. It doesn't have to be spiritual. I, I, this lesson is mostly talking about believing in yourself, believing in what's possible for you. 
And then if you combine it with being curious about others from last week and not judgmental, believing in others, believing that if we work together, we can create a better world. What do you believe in? If you're curious about the Ch Gift of Change project, I do have a few more spots open. Shoot me a message and I'll get you on the calendar. I would love to help you. When you know you have somebody believing in you, it's amazing what you can accomplish. Even if you're just curious about what it is, shoot me a message. And I hope you have a wonderful day.